going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we dueled in the Crossed Wands Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in Mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the Ministry, then the Mer people should have one too. I'm not so sure this is a worthwhile endeavour. Do the Mer people even want to be liaised with? They seem to be open to it so far. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. How has Wizardkind fallen short in its treatment of Mer people? Well, we've consistently deigned Mer people as being beneath us despite the many similarities between our cultures. One can hardly blame them for declining being status by the Ministry years ago. Who are we to classify those of such beauty and intelligence? What do you imagine a liaison to the Mer people would do? Oh, so many things. I want to know everything I can about them. After I've mastered swimming, I perfect my mermish, of course, and I'd share with them anything they wanted to know about wizard kind. My hope is that by understanding each other better, both of our societies could grow. What is it about the mer people that interests you so much? <gasps> I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumour is that tales about them have infiltrated even the muggle world. The oldest known mer people, Sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has Selkies and Ireland is home to Merrows. I could go on for ages about them. Their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. It's a travesty how little is understood about them. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you! The last thing I want is for them to think I'd shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. What do we have in here, then? Narada will be happy about this. How nice to see you, my young friend. Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news. I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. And I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard. It's marvellous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the Ministry. Should I hand deliver it or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I can't wait to study this. I quite like the idea of an authentic mermish artifact. I'm tempted to keep it myself. What? Why would you do that? That gift was a gesture of goodwill, a symbol of hope. I was going to show it to the Ministry. If you really wanted this, then perhaps you should have fetched it yourself. I would, if I knew how to swim. I just hope you haven't set relations between wizard kind and mer people back decades. That's it. I shall definitely need to learn how to swim. 
Oh, he's a bubble hedgehog.